Okay, it's winter in West Virginia, and we're gonna focus on some mods for the canopy camper here this winter. Um, and one of the first things that we're gonna do is we're gonna pull these single drop tables off from GP Factor, and they've been fantastic. It gives us the flexibility to maybe leave one table up so we got a little bit more room to get in and out of the camper, um, or leave one table down, or leave both down, and then have two nice surfaces to work on. But what we've been kind of missing out on is a cutting board, right? So we have a cutting board that we pull out of our kit every time that we get to camp. Um, but we're looking for a little more table space and a cutting board too. And so the single drop down folding table from GP Factor, this brand new to the market, specifically designed for these AlluCab canopy campers is right here on the table behind me. So let's break that apart and start taking these off and get this thing mounted up on the Tacoma. Yeah, we've done a lot of work with um, AJ at GP Factor over the years, and he's a lot of fun. Um, and he's making some really cool stuff. I mean, he's in a position where he's, you know, designing and fabricating and delivering some pretty solid solutions out to canopy camper owners, Jeep owners, um, and maybe some other camper outfits too. But uh, just really good people. I just want to give him. I joke around sometimes and you know does the GP stand for good people or general purpose so yeah fantastic stuff and uh, let's get this thing opened up yeah you know at first glance um, typical quality that you're gonna get from GP factor um, we've got the burned in logo here which is a really nice custom touch and we can kind of look on the inside. You know, we, again, we have the coating on here so that, you know, once we're ready to go, once we get this in thing, thing installed, we're not gonna scratch it up beforehand, which is gonna get some use anyway. We've got a super cool uh, little uh, placard right there, laser etched and uh, nice latching next mechanisms here. Um, again, the GP Factor logo, um, all powder coated, nice black powder coating, so. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. I'm excited to get this on. But the first thing we're gonna have to do, now that we've inspected and seen all the parts that we have, is we need to pull off um, the existing drop tables that are on there now. Okay, so I've got the two tables off here and I wanted to kind of show you what we got before we uh, started drilling and mocking everything up. So we do have some existing holes on here um, that will actually be covered up by this, which is really nice. I might go ahead and take some RTV and just kind of fill those in just to kind of keep them plugged. Um, this is an aluminum door, so I don't gotta worry about anything rusting. Then I'm gonna take this grab handle off and as you can see here, there's actually two large um, bolts. That's for the GP Factor traction bore holders that are on the back of the truck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take that bolt out. I'm gonna take this grab handle out and I'm gonna go ahead and mount the folding drop table onto the canopy camper. And then I'm gonna drill through this bolt hole right here and then remount it. So. Um, I think that's what's gonna happen. We'll see how it goes. Okay, not done quite yet. I think I'm gonna have to take these existing Allen bolts out of here. This is for an additional latch comes stock on the canopy camper door to help you latch it down the bottom. We've since deleted that for our storage and stuff like that. And you really don't need that when you're sitting in your truck. But I've got everything off. I'm gonna have to take these off. I sized this up here and it just wasn't working. I've been kind of laying things out, sizing it up to try to figure out where to put this thing and how to center it on the door. I even called AJ at GP Factor. Um, but it honestly just comes down to per personal preference. Um, there should be some consideration taken into the fact whether or not you have a traction board 
uh, mounting kit from GP Factor offset on the back door, or you have the spare tire mount, right? So you need to take all that into consideration and to give me some flexibility because I don't know what I'm gonna be doing later. Um, I'm gonna center this thing dead on, on the back door, lift it up a little bit so it actually comes up and touches flush with these existing molly panels. And I'm gonna get to use one of the bottom rivet or the rivet holes to kind of lock this thing in place so I can get it sized up and then sink all my rivets and drill all my holes. So the only thing I gotta do right now is just ream out one hole down here. I'm also gonna have to spend a little bit of time in this area too, um, getting kind of creative with it, but I'm not too concerned about that. I've got the tools for it. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I've got one Allen head bolt here in place to kind of hold things in place. If I move this out of the way, it'd swing, which we don't want to happen, but it'll give me kind of a third hand here to hold things up. Um, after I get this top one over here set, I think I'm gonna go around and just start drilling everything in. Looking good here, it's not quite done yet, but this thing should be pretty centered. Let's take a look. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. Nice and centered, everything's nice and flush up here with the top. Yeah, we should be good to go. Let's get this thing set up. One, two, three, four, five, and six, which is a, just a bolt. And I've actually gone ahead and put the GP Factor bolt in there. It doesn't look too bad. I just had to ream the hole out a little bit on the backing plate for this GP Factor drop table. Uh, but it just, it sets up there really nice. Um, I like the looks out of it. You can't use the lock washer on that unless you cut it out a little bit more uh, because this plate's so thick. So I'm gonna truck right along and get the rest of the rivets and uh, we're almost there. It's obviously nighttime, it's gotten colder and I had to get something to eat and I broke my Ace Hardware rivet tool. So um, I'm about to pick one up at work tomorrow. I can't get anything really good enough locally. I'm gonna get something good that I can keep for a long time now. Cause pulling these stainless rivets through here is no joke. Okay, we're back, install's complete. The reason I'm in a different wardrobe is because why I broke my cheap rivet tool that's actually worked for me for the last like 15 years. So yeah, those are three 16th inch rivets. You get the right tool for the job, it'll make it go a lot easier. A couple things to consider when you're installing. Size this thing up and know where the grab handle is gonna be. I got too caught up in the aesthetics and wanted this kind of clean up here. I didn't even think about the grab handle. And I eventually got the grab handle to kind of wedge in there and fit and anchor down. I went to lift the table back up and there was not enough clearance for it. So take that into consideration and consider dropping this thing down here. If you've got a canopy camper, which you're gonna be installing this on, you're probably gonna to wanna to go down and cover up these, uh, these four bolt holes that are down here to give yourself enough clearance for you know, opening and closing the door. What's really cool that I discovered on the back side of this grab handle, which has nothing to do with the table, is that this is slotted. And as many times as I've grabbed this, it's never really registered in my mind of what options or what possibilities I could actually use or put in here. You know, like, um, you know, eye bolts and things like that. Something that's really shallow that I could just clip carabiners to and just hang, you know, maybe some utensils here or something like that, I don't know. But I found that pretty interesting. So here's the table. It's got some fingerprints on it. Of course, it's gonna get used. I don't really care about that. Here's the cutting board, right? I wouldn't put too many heavy things way far out here if you know, you've got just as little as a third of the table in there. 
I mean, it's pretty strong, but I wouldn't test it. If you're gonna put something pretty heavy on there, I'd go about halfway in with the table, maybe a little bit more, and it's gonna hold a whole lot of weight there. But this is completely removable and it'll come all the way out. And to give you an idea of the size space, I've got a camp stove that we really don't use a whole lot because we've been cooking on a brine all year long. And I'm gonna probably continue to do that in 2022. But if I'm gonna be cooking something maybe in the winter time when it's really hard to cook over a fire unless you get it raging and I wanna just knock something out real quick, I'll bring this for myself and my family. And this will set up here perfect. So it's a perfect fit to give you some sort of idea of sizing. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's gonna come in really handy. So yeah, one big solid working surface for just about everything we're gonna to need to cut or set or prep on this year. I'm really excited about it. I've got a couple little holes that I'll fill in with some Cicoflex, but cosmetic stuff. This is the GP Factor single drop table, and you've seen it installed here on Mountain State Overland. Have a good one.